We just launched into a table at Mahjong time and we are going to do some strategy theory. And for this one, I think it looks like we might be playing consecutive run. Consecutive run is a great category, especially if you are on a losing streak because there is great flexibility there. Since there's three numbered tiles or numbered suits, numbered one through nine, there's a lot of flexibility. And there are ranges between two in a sequence and four in a sequence, even up to five in a sequence. So there's a lot of flexibility. I see a lot of four, five, six, seven, or five, six, seven, eight. Four, five, six, seven, five, six, seven, eight. I think we can give up the nines and we can give up the south. So we have some tiles we can pass and we don't have to pick a hand. Don't pick a hand. Pick, if you have mixed suits, pick four numbers in a range. In this case, five, six, seven, eight, or four, five, six, seven. Probably five, six, seven, eight. Well, we're equal. Four, five, six, seven. And it doesn't matter where they fall. Just keep them all. So we just got an eight. If we're in four, five, six, seven, Actually, now we have some five, six, seven, eight. Let's give up the four and focus on five, six, seven, eight. As long as you're using four numbers, five, six, seven, eight. So we'll get rid of these. Let's just see if we have any like number potential here. We have two eights, two fives, two sevens. We do have two dragons. Let's see if we can maybe drive a little like number action here. Let's get rid of the nine dot and let's focus on five, six, seven or like numbers. We've got fives, sevens, and eights in here. Okay, we just picked up a seven. So now that's our first multiple, the seven. So that's the new strength of the hand, reassess. So let's focus on sevens, six, seven, eight. Here's a six, six, seven. We can get rid of the four, one. That's a good set of tiles there to get rid of. I'm thinking like numbers with dragons and sevens. We could play, let's see. I think we could probably get rid of the five crack. Actually, we might be able to use that five crack. Let's give up the five bam. Oh, that's really risky. No, I don't want to pass a one, four, five in one suit. Mm -mm. Because they could use that for consecutive run. We got a seven. So now we have two pairs in sevens. And we have a five, seven, seven, nine. We could switch to odds. Let's get a big odds, five, seven, nine. So let's get rid of, well, let's do the Charleston. Let's focus there first. So I'm thinking we should play five, seven, nine, big odds, five, seven, seven, nine, or like numbers with sevens. So let's go ahead and, oops, wrong one. Let's get rid of the eights. Now, oh, and the six. Perfect, because we need three tiles to pass. There they are, one of each suit. Even, odd, perfect. Well, it's not perfect. I think if a wind had been in there, it would have been better. Okay, we picked up a dragon and we have three tiles to pass. That's a pretty good pass. It would have been, it would be better if we had a, if we had an odd tile in here, but we don't. I wanna keep, I think I wanna keep, you know what? Let's pass the nine crack and focus on like numbers with dragons. That way we can send off a good pass. Let's give up the five and we'll play like numbers with sevens and dragons. Okay, now we have tiles we can pass. Let's keep the eight and the six. If we get an eight bam or a six bam, we could switch back to consecutive. And we could even use the dragons maybe. 
there's a six. Okay, so now we have six, seven, seven. Let's, let's pass two. Actually, let's give up the eight. Let's do a full pass. So we could play six, seven. We could use this joker for the missing six, maybe. Let's pass three. Okay. It'd be nice to get another seven. I'd like to play like numbers. We could always use the six cracks as joker bait unless we get a six bam or a flower. Okay. Now we're back to five, seven, seven, nine. Look, five, seven, nine. West wind. Okay, we don't need that. Uh, so dots. yeah, let's just take a peek. We've got five, Four seven, characters. nine, five, six, seven. Five, seven, seven, nine. I think we could give up this five. Eight Actually, characters. yeah, no. Maybe we should get, get rid of the six Four crack. Characters. Oh, we don't need that four die. We don't have to pick a hand, not Four yet. Dots. We'll just relax. Just relax. Seven characters. Oh, I'm not ready to commit because those like the like number hand with dragons is concealed. And I don't South think we have enough pairs to really commit yet. North wind. Okay, that six doesn't fit. I'm thinking probably big odds and the sixes might be joker bait. I'm thinking probably either like numbers with sevens and dragons or Nine big bamboos. odds. Yeah, we're not taking that. We could maybe play the big odds concealed hand with dragons. You don't? Nine oh yeah, that is dwindling at this point. We don't need the two. So I'm thinking two probably the big odds opportunity is pretty Four slim bamboos. to none. I think we're better off with consecutive six, seven, or like numbers with sevens. So I think seven we could, characters. yeah, I think we could free up the nine and the five even this one too. Four characters. Oh, there's a flower. Let's get rid of the nine because now what nine we could do bamboos. is we could play five, six, seven consecutive six Kongs bamboos. in one suit and use the sevens here Kong. as joker bait. Let's get rid of the five bam next. Three characters. There's a joker. Five bamboos. All right. So we're back to maybe playing like numbers with sevens. And the joke Sound or the flower win. or flower, the, the dragon we would need would be this white dragon here. I think we could maybe get rid of the five crack next. Five bamboos. Unless we pick it. Three if we bamboos. draw the five crack, I think we could switch to the consecutive Kong Three hand. Bamboos. Five, six, seven consecutive Kongs. One character. So let's see what happens. We're going to have to make a decision though, because there's two seven cracks out right now. East wind. So it really depends if Three we draw bamboos. a flower, that's going to solidify our direction. If we draw a dragon that will solidify the direction. If we draw a five crack that will solidify the direction. So we got lots of waypoints. We don't five have to choose dots. yet though. So we'll stay fluid. Red dragon. Pass. We don't need a four. Don't need no stinking four. four dots. One dot. So yeah, we'll see. Let's put these back West in order wind. here. Three dots. Oh yeah, we don't need a two. Two now dots. this six bam over here is available that see oh wait a minute no it's not Three yes characters. it is that is a joker there's only two six bams visible so this is a joker North right here wind. see how it's kind of glowy 
one dot. Oh, nine dot. Yeah, we don't nine want that. Dots. South wind. East wind. Green dragon. Hmm. Dragons are going down. We don't need a south. So there's Seven one red wind. dragon and one green dragon. So I think those can probably go next. Seven bamboos. Okay, we're we're gonna go ahead and Kong it. Kong. And we'll get rid of the dragon there. So green dragon. let's commit to like numbers with sevens and dragons. Dragon. We'll pass on that. The sixes will be joker bait. We can Kong. East wind. Oops. So we need another joker though, because there's two seven cracks out. Let's see. Red there's dragon. one eight crack out, no five cracks. The six cracks are not out yet wind. either. So those are all good good potential joker bait tiles. Five dots. Eight dots. Okay. Eight crack. So Eight characters. we just got a pung now of sixes. There are two five dots out Four and there's one eight dot out. If we draw an eight dot, we could switch to the consecutive Kong hand and mix suits. Characters. Okay, we don't need that. Yeah, nobody wanted it. So <gasps> eight dot. Okay, I think we should switch to the consecutive mix suit hand six seven eight use this joker as an eight dot get rid of that white right Kong. away the sevens can be joker bait which are probably not good because there's already seven two dots. out and nobody wanted them oh somebody won and there are the eight dots over there so we wouldn't have gotten it but it was a good exercise just the same okay very nice So let me know what you thought about that. I think it went pretty well, even though we didn't win. It's a really good exercise in strategy and critical thinking. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight of the game that could give you an advantage at the table. I would love to help you with that. So let's go find another table and do some more strategy theory. Between now and then, may all your picks be keepers.